Put away the short sleeves and get out the snow shovels. Norman is the bullseye for a major winter storm. Plus, Caleb Williams makes it official. He's West Coast bound. And some good news on the COVID front. This is OU Nightly. Thanks for joining us for OU Nightly. I'm Tyler DeLuca. And I'm Maddie D'Addario. We begin tonight with the latest on the winter storm headed our way. All right. Well, thank you, guys. Uh, so today doesn't feel like we're prepping for our biggest winter storm of the season. It's actually a really beautiful day out here now you see behind me. There are some low clouds, but so far it has been warm. It's felt more like a spring day today than a winter day. Let me tell you, the temperatures are going to drop. They're going to continue to drop. They're not going to come back up for several days. So we want to run you through a few things you can do to prep your vehicle uh, in the event that you do have to travel. Again, we're really discouraging travel the next several days, but if you have to, here's some things that you can do. The first thing, Put your windshield wipers up whenever you go to bed at night. This will keep your windshield wipers from freezing to your windshield, and I'll show you why, because here you're going to be able to take an ice scraper. This was less than $1 at Walmart. Scrape ice off your windshield, then you'll have some visibility. You'll be able to drive, again, only if you have to. If you want to skip the effort, spend a couple more dollars, get you some windshield de-icer. This was 3 bucks. You spray it on your windshield, wait 15 seconds, run your wiper and then you will have an iceless windshield. So those are two things you can do. Follow me around this way. We'll talk about a couple more things you can do if you absolutely have to travel. So the first thing that you're certainly going to want to do, do not, do not travel without a coat. But let me tell you, this coat is too thin. You definitely want to ditch the thin coat. Grab the large winter coat. You certainly cannot travel without a large winter coat. If you get stuck or you have to turn your vehicle off, you're going to need a winter coat to be able to support yourself uh, if you do have to get out. Again, also, take a pair of gloves. You have to have a pair of gloves. Coat and gloves are essentials if you have to travel, and it certainly doesn't hurt to grab a blanket. Grab a blanket to take with you. If you have to travel, this will help keep you safe if you do. Let me tell you, if you do get out and you do get stuck, there's a couple things you can do, particularly in a small vehicle if you do get stuck. The first thing, take a shovel. This was $15 at Walmart. Take a shovel, start digging yourself out. If you need a little help digging yourself out, grab you some driveway de-icer, spread this under your vehicle, it'll melt the ice, it'll help you dig. Folks, that's what you can do to stay safe. Hannah Guard, back to you. Thanks, Colton. Yeah, with these winter threats, our main ones being slick roads, we're mostly going to have to watch out for this tomorrow with icy roads on overpasses. That cold air coming underneath does make the road ice faster. And with some rainfall tonight, we will see those icy road conditions tomorrow. So coming up in main weather, I'll have more about that ice overnight and what we're looking at in terms of impacts this week. Guys, back to you. Thanks, Hannah. Road crews move out. The city of Norman calls in extra help to make sure salt and sand trucks are operating. OU Nightly's Audrey Goodson asked the city about its plans for the storm. A winter storm is like a war, and this is what the city of Norman is using as their ammunition. Dangerous winter precipitation begins tonight, but city employees have been planning for a storm like this one since early November. We're preparing the equipment and snow plows and staff. Uh, you know, there's always new staff, so we learn teaching them how to operate the equipment. So we're, we're, we're definitely ready, um, but again, you never know what you're going to get until the, until the storm hits. Tonight, staff will put brine on the roads to help the ice melt more quickly. And if we see two or more inches of snow, snow plowing will begin tomorrow. You know, if we had our wish, we'd like to get more snow than less. It actually makes it easier for us to actually plow. The bigger problem? Ice. There's just nothing we can do. Uh, we know people want us to make it go away, but when the temperature drops below 20, there's, there's not a snow plow on earth that can, that can deal with it. His advice to Norman residents, if this happens, get off the road and let Mother Nature do her thing. Reporting from Norman, Audrey Goodson, OU Nightly. A heads up, anyone driving behind one of those trucks needs to stay at least 200 feet behind the equipment. And we'll bring you plenty more winter weather coverage later in the show. But right now, another big story on campus. Quarterback Caleb Williams is officially off the team. OU Nightly sports anchor Brig Bates joins us with the story. Brig. Maddie, the former OU QB, made his announcement on Twitter earlier today when he released a hype video featuring the USC campus. 
ESPN reported that Williams was expected to start classes today. Let's head out to OU's nightly Zaria Oates. She's got the reaction from around campus. Zaria? Today, alongside the rest of the world, OU students and fans found out that our star quarterback, Caleb Williams, will be transferring and following in former head coach Lincoln Riley's footsteps to the University of Southern California. I spoke with some OU students on their reactions to what they feel. Honestly, I've just seen a whole bunch on like Snapchat and everything like that since he actually posted today. Kind of a little bit heart broken, but it is what it is. Um, but yeah, I mean, he needs to do what's right for him. I know I'm not super upset about it, but I know our roommate has some very strong feelings about it and she's not too happy. She's very upset. She is like, how could he do this to us? Such a traitor, you know? Uh, so Caleb Williams, like, I think like, you know, he was pretty cool up until he left. Like, he, he wouldn't follow Lincoln Riley, and we all hate him here, so that was kind of a terrible move by him. Um, you know, everybody else is doing it, so I guess he has to follow it, but I'm kind of sad. I feel like we need him, you know? I think we need him. Just because he did pretty good, and I, I don't know. I think that we were all super excited to have him on our team, and now he's just leaving. Come on, now. Well, where were you expecting him to go? Forward. I wanted him to be as hype as Spencer was before, you know? We were all screaming Spencer's name, and then Caleb got brought up, and I wanted to keep screaming Caleb's name. <laughs> Thanks, Zaria. We'll have more on this ongoing story in sports later on. And the State Health Department reports that there are almost 2,500 new cases today, which is much lower than previous days. This brings the active case count to just under 99,000. Over 13,000 Oklahomans have died since the beginning of the pandemic. Medical experts say the best defense is making sure you are vaccinated and boosted against the virus. The, uh, the OU Nightly weather team is working overtime. Hannah, what else do we need to know about the winter weather just on the horizon? Guys, we're looking at significant impacts over the next two days. We've already seen school canceled. Coming up, we'll have more on that forecast and what we're looking at in terms of wintry mix and snowfall in Oklahoma after the break. Welcome back to OU Nightly. We're looking at a large Arctic blast moving into the area. Right now, we still have this front sitting over us, but overnight, we'll see this cold air dipping down into the region, bringing us a winter storm conditions. And you can see there, this is what's going to be giving us that lift so that we can see snowfall right now in pink across the state. We are in a winter storm warning. That means snow accumulation three to five inches. We could see ice of more than a quarter of an inch and gusty winds up to 35 miles an hour. The rest of the state in a winter weather advisory. Now, this is what we're looking at for tonight. The snow is mainly going to be in the panhandle. We'll see a wintry mix start to form north of the city and then down in the southeastern parts of the state. Mostly that cold rain, but by tomorrow morning, this will largely transition into wintry mix for most of central Oklahoma and that snowfall moving southward as we head into Wednesday evening before we start to see bands of heavy snow moving across the entirety of the state. And what we're also looking at here is that wind chill. You can see dipping into the single digits by tomorrow afternoon certainly feeling very very chilly and then we will be below freezing in terms of wind chills by Thursday morning and it's not going to get much better after that throughout Thursday we're seeing those near zero and into Friday but throughout Friday is when we'll start to see that improve and for our temperatures a similar story will be in the 20s and we'll just bounce around there for the time being but for future radar here's what we're looking at tonight we will see rainfall moving into central Oklahoma later this evening and transitioning into wintry mix early tomorrow morning. Snowfall mainly in the panhandle, but then you can see the strong band of snowfall and wintry mix moving into central Oklahoma around tomorrow afternoon. So we'll really start to see that pick up heavy snowfall by tomorrow night and wintry mix for most of the south uh, eastern parts of the state will have a brief clear up Thursday morning and then the potential for more snowfall late Thursday evening. So we'll certainly see some significant accumulations throughout the uh, course of this event. So the snow totals Thursday, mainly the highest totals will be to the north, three to five inches for central Oklahoma and then a dusting farther southeast there. But for the next two days, we will see that wintry mix tomorrow, Thursday temperatures in the teens cooling off 
And for the rest of this week, we will start to see those temperatures getting cooler and cooler. Before we warm up into the weekend, we'll start to see those temperatures rebounding. But again, the biggest threats here are going to be ice. We will see the potential for some uh, power outages if we see those accumulating on lines with 35 mile an hour wind gusts. And then we'll see pretty significant snowfall accumulations in central Oklahoma over the course of the next two days. Guys, back to you. Thanks, Hannah. And with no shortage of QB news today, Tom Brady has put rumors to rest and made a decision about his future. Yeah, that's right, Maddie. What an absolute day for quarterback news. We'll have more on Caleb Williams and Tom Brady up next in sports. And we'll have a recap of women's basketball's big win last weekend. Sports is next. Stick around. Hello, welcome back to OU Nightly. I'm Brig Bates and it's time for sports. The long awaited question of where Caleb Williams is headed is finally coming to an end. Former OU QB1 is headed to join an old friend of ours, Lincoln Riley at USC. As many Sooners fans are waiting on this, there's been speculation of other teams landing Caleb. Williams took his time finalizing where he wanted to play, but he will now join the Trojans with other fellow former Sooners such as Mario Williams and Latrell McCutcheon. Considered the greatest quarterback in NFL history, Tom Brady is retiring at the age of 44 after playing 22 seasons. Brady dominated the league under Belichick for 20 seasons, winning six Super Bowls before heading to Tampa Bay for another Lombardi trophy. Brady created his own path, piling up career records such as most touchdown passes and most passing yards in league history. The OU women's basketball team landed a big win over ranked Texas this past weekend at the LNC with a 65-63 win. The Sooners are tied for first in the Big 12 and are 11-1 at home under first-year coach Ginny. Oklahoma will not catch a break as they head down to Wacky Waco to take on the number 9 ranked Baylor Bears. Tip-off is at Wednesday at 7. Sticking to the hardwood, Oklahoma men's basketball hosted the TCU Horned Frogs last night at the LNC. The Sooners trailed 14 points and began to come back, but TCU held off to win 72-63. That was TCU's first program win at Norman in school history. Oklahoma looked to snap their two-game losing streak as they head to Stillwater on Saturday for Bedlam Madness. We didn't, I mean, they overwhelmed us. Their athleticism, their length, their size, their physicality, um, like five check marks overwhelmed us on the glass. You, you, you can't win, you know, just 42 to 20. You can't win with that kind of a disparage on the glass. Even though the men's basketball team wasn't very lucky last night, one fan in attendance was. A no you student got the chance at a pricey basketball shot. The crowd went wild when he made an electrifying half court shot to win a brand new Apple MacBook Air. If I were in his shoes, I don't know if I could have made that shot. What about you guys? I don't know, Maddie. I think I could have made it. I, I, I really do. I think I could have. I mean, I might have to agree with you on that. I might be a little confident myself, yeah. but yeah. I think I'm right there with you. And a, and a cultural phenomenon is virtually moving to the Big Apple. Find out what's new with the online word game Wordle next on OU Nightly. I'm Morgan Martin at the OU Nightly Update Desk. Pfizer and BioNTech announced today that they are requesting emergency use authorization of their two-dose COVID-19 vaccine in children ages six months and up. This comes after the vaccine did not produce the expected immunity in two to five-year-olds in a previous trial, but showed promising results in those under two. That's all for me, back to you in the studio. A well-known retailer is hiring at a record time, and a postal service is hitting huge revenue numbers. Becca Thompson has more in Money Matters. Thanks, Tyler. With labor shortages caused by the pandemic, Home Depot announced today that they have a solution to combat this problem. The world's largest home improvement retailer said that job applicants could receive an offer within one day of applying. This accelerated hiring process is part of their plan to hire more than 100,000 new workers ahead of the upcoming spring season.
And since the start of the pandemic, all postal services have received a surge in package volume as consumers begin buying more items online rather than in stores. In 2021, UPS's revenue for the year reached $97.3 billion, which is up 3% from 2020. The company said it expects the revenue to reach around $102 billion by the end of this year, which was previously a set goal for 2023. I'm an avid online shopper, so I'm sure my spending habits will be a contribution to their success. Maddie, Tyler. Thanks, Mecca. The daily word puzzle Wordle has taken the world by storm and now has a new home. The New York Times will, will be the new site for Wordle fans to take part in the game after acquiring the right for a price described in the low seven figures. Wordle creator Josh Wordle is working at keeping all game streaks alive in the transition. And with one final look at the weather, Hannah, how long are we expecting these freezing temperatures to stick around? Yeah, guys, we'll at least see these through the end of the week. And this is a, what we're looking at in terms of snow totals through Thursday. Most of that going to be in the north, but we could see three to five inches here across central Oklahoma. Certainly will be a snowy couple of days, but ice here, it's going to be the worst to the southeast of us here in Norman. We could see up to three fourths of an inch of ice in some places, certainly going to be disastrous for roads. So if you can avoid going out, it's definitely going to be best to do so. But looking at tomorrow, we'll be in the 30s. We'll see those temperatures dropping into the teens overnight into Thursday and then just sitting there for the next couple of days. You can see our low Saturday 7 degrees certainly going to feel colder too with our wind chills. We'll be seeing those dipping down below zero for the most of us across the state over the next two days. We could see those also being in the negative digits, but we'll really start to warm back up once we get into Saturday and Sunday, seeing that sunshine returning and as we head into Monday and Tuesday Tuesday, we'll see those temperatures bounce back into the 50s. Guys, it's definitely going to be very, very cold, and I am not going to enjoy it the next two days. How about you? I don't think I am either. No, absolutely not. Well, thanks for watching OU Nightly tonight, and reminder, all OU classes are virtual on Wednesday and Thursday. Make sure to stay warm and stay safe as the winter storm moves through. Good night. Good night.